Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. Today in Animal Crossing I'm gonna finally be working on my campsite. It has needed some love and attention and we're finally gonna be giving it a little makeover but that's not the only thing that's getting a little makeover today. You all know that glasses are something that I wear on the daily and they're super important to my look so I'm so happy to say that this video is sponsored by glassesusa.com. I've worn glasses since I was in elementary school and I've always hated having to choose my frames at the eye doctor. They never have what I like. I always feel rushed to try to choose something and at the end of the day It always hurts my wallet. That's why I love getting my glasses online at glassesusa.com They cut out the middleman and you can get your sunglasses and glasses at up to 70% off of retail prices I also love how affordable they are because you can get a complete pair of eyeglasses and sunglasses starting at just $30 and basic prescriptions come with every single frame and I know what you're thinking. Do they sacrifice quality? No, they do not. GlassesUSA.com's lenses are the same high quality you would find in any eyeglass store, just minus the drive. And my favorite part is they have so many options for people like me who are really picky about the frames that they put on their face. They have over 9,000 styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses, including in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, and designer brands like Ray-Ban and Gucci. You can find all sorts of styles and colors for your specific tastes, and if you need something special like kids' glasses or sports glasses, they have that too. These frames are my current favorite. I have been wanting a little splash of pink in my glasses and these are just completely pink which are so awesome I love them so much and I really like the shape that these have these are kind of like a different shape than what I usually go for but I think they're super cute these are gonna go so nice with all of the bright color outfits that I usually wear I wear a lot of pink too so this is gonna totally match everything definitely in line with my personality but don't get me wrong I also love a good basic so I also have these black frames and they are perfect for a more subtle everyday look I really Really like the shape of these this is the shape that i usually spring for just kind of like a nice little rounded shape and i feel like it really suits my face and then these are very much very eccentric compared to what i would usually wear but i wanted to try just some very dainty rimless frames for the days that i kind of want to like more showcase the makeup that i'm wearing so these are perfect for that they feel super lightweight too they totally don't bother my nose or my ears at all they feel like they're not even there <laughs> and then ever since i discovered the world of prescription sunglasses no one has been able to stop me prescription sunglasses are a game changer for me i can actually wear sunglasses and see whoa i love the frames on these they feel super trendy and i feel like i am a movie star or a spy or something i just feel so cool in these so to shop for your own pair of glasses check out my link down in the description below to enjoy free shipping and a risk-free shopping experience with a 100 percent money back guarantee thank you so much to glassesusa.com for sponsoring and let's get into the video all right logging into animalcrossing.com be like no my turn Turnips. I actually bought turnips for once and of course I just ruined it by time traveling but okay before we get to work on the campsite let's go around and see if anything is going on on the island is there any parties happening and did anyone slip and fall break a bone anything going on there is absolutely no one in the plaza okay usually like everyone is camping out in the plaza and doing zoomies and stuff where the heck is everyone oh okay First of all, who gave you the right? Who gave you the right, ma'am? What is with these villagers and having absolutely no appreciation for anything that I do for them on this island? Girl, I gave you your own house on the beach. How, how could you do this to me? I've been daydreaming lately about starting a new life on another island. It's not that I'm unhappy here or anything, I think I just want to try something new. I mean, I can't really fault her for wanting to try new things, like I don't want to shame anyone for doing that. But at the same time, uh, you're gonna stay here, you're not, you're not going anywhere. I don't know what you were thinking, <laughs> it's just kind of funny actually, you thought you could leave. It's just kind of hilarious, I have to laugh. Okay, meanwhile, Stitches is doing zoomies outside his house. Henry has abandoned his classroom for the fifth day in a row. So as the principal of Leapfrog Academy, I do have to have a conversation with him. I don't know if we can continue to keep him employed on this island. We're going to have to see. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know what's up with him. Okay, obviously nobody on this freaking island wants to talk to me or have anything exciting going on today. So let's just get into working on the campsite. At least uh, Tom Nook and Isabel are getting things done. They're keeping the blood circulating. Good on you guys. 
All right, let's finally move this freaking campsite. I'm so excited. The campsite has been in the way for so long on my beach near the water park and it just needs to go. Ooh, look at that fountain go. Show them what you got. That was amazing, 10 out, of, 10 out of 10. Okay, so this is the general area that I want to convert into a cute little campsite space. I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm not gonna go for any specific builds. I'm not gonna do anything super special. We're just gonna focus on like campsite vibes. Whatever that is, I don't know. We'll figure it out together, I guess. But all I have envisioned is I want it to be kind of in the forest. So we're thinking like Girl Scout, Boy Scout camping, like in the forest or something like that. And there's going to be lots of other tents around. And in the forest, I also want to have the mushroom platforms, the Mario ones. And it's going to be kind of like a little mushroom forest. And I don't know, that's all I got so far. We'll just, we'll just go from there. So I guess I have to start by fixing all this up so that I can actually place down the campsite. Probably should have done this, you know, but do I plan things in advance? No. Do I make things easier for myself? Also no. All I can do is just carry on and hope my camera battery doesn't die on me before I finish. <laughs> and see, I needed these turnips because I needed to move all of these trees, but apparently that is going to be a no-go for me right now. I have to go scavenge for individual fruit on my island. Can't believe I have to do this. Like, why do my villagers not pick the fruit every day? You know, people ask me all the time, like, what do you wish they would put in New Horizons? I know my answer now. I've played this game called The Survivalist before, and it's like a survival game or whatever, and you're stranded and you find these monkeys, and in the game, you can set the monkeys to like do a specific task for you. So if you want them to craft stuff for you, you just set up a crafting recipe on the crafting bench and you give them the materials and they just craft the stuff. So I wish that's what we could do in New Horizons. I wish I could set my villagers or at least like ask them, like have a dialogue op option to ask them, hey, can you go pick fruit for me, you know? And like be like, oh, I need like six fruit or something like that. Or, oh, hey, can you go pick some weeds for me? And maybe you unlock that like way later in the game, even though that would probably leave us with absolutely nothing to do in the game. But hey, at least the option will be there. You don't have to do it. Okay, we have the majority of the trees gone. Next, I got to start up the island designer and I got to fix all this stuff up. Plus, I want to take advantage of like the rocks that are on the edge of the island. I think it'll be really cute to put the little, what's it called? <laughs> Camp? Tents? Can't, tents tents like on the back on these rocks like half on it half off it i think that'll be really cute okay this is the spot i don't even need to look at it it's the spot yay there we go all right now let's time travel to tomorrow so the campsite is built and we will continue decorating time traveling to tomorrow because i'm a dirty cheater i don't play this game as intended Nintendo just come out and sue me. Okay, I was grabbing more trees on the way here and my shovel broke. So I guess we have to take a detour to Nooks. I can't be bothered to craft one. You know, one of the uh, main new concepts that they introduced in this game that you should be doing regularly. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. All right, boys, what you got for me? I just need a shovel, actually. Don't answer that. All right, so I definitely want to put a tent over here. There's a lot of real estate on these rocks. Yeah, I was kind of overestimating how big these tents were, so I think I want to put a few. Cute blue one right here. Adorable, adorable. Let's bring in the clown tent, and we're going to put that right behind the actual campsite. Okay, next I want to work on tree placement because this is going to be very important but at the same time i do want it to look like the woods you know like the actual woods not just oh there's there's a bunch of trees hee <laughs> hee you know like the actual woods i probably already put a little text thing on the screen but my camera footage decided to corrupt last night while i was editing so that's fun so that's why it's the next day and i'm recording the last half of this video but things happen you know so we just move on and we adapt because we are humans i don't know why this is getting existential anyways so i finished up with the tree placement got the placement where i wanted it to be there was a couple gaps here and there because i wanted to stick some more fun stuff in so that was looking good and then i decided to do a little path and all i felt like doing was this very long 
kind of pointless dirt path. I don't know. It just gave me campsite vibes, but that's all that's all i made <laughs> and then i started going in with some little mushrooms like i said in the beginning of the video i wanted to make like a little mushroomy forest like not super mushroomy not like only mushrooms but i just wanted to mix a few in here and i also put down the campsite sign i almost forgot that but i think it just adds that chef's kiss little touch then i continued on with the mushrooms just placing those down the little ones first and also placing other little random decor like a DIY table, which will actually be functional and decorative. So it's a win-win. Then I started going in with the large mushroom platforms, which I really feel like elevated the area. They took up a lot of extra space that was kind of empty and awkward. And they just added nice pops of color and kind of like kid core vibes. So very happy with those. Then I started going in with custom designs. You all know me, custom designs are my bread and butter. Cannot live without them. So they are essential for every single build and I really feel like they helped this build um, have kind of more of like a kid core aesthetic because I'm using a lot of trees I'm using some dark wood furniture in here like the campsite sign so these custom designs that are bright and colorful and cheery really help bring kind of like the overall aesthetic back to kid core back where it belongs there's honestly never too many custom designs if you ever feel like your build is like missing something add some more custom designs I guarantee you it'll be better. Then I ended up changing one of the colors of the small mushroom platforms just to spice it up a little bit and I went back in with more custom designs, added some little log stakes just to kind of like shake it up you know and like I was saying doing a lot of dark brown wood so these custom designs are going to be essential but this is pretty self-explanatory I just put designs on the floor. That's it. That's all I do. That's that's my whole job. <laughs> but then it was time to add in some other little small miscellaneous items like this campfire cookware. I feel like that was really cute and kind of essential to a campsite area. And also adding some firewood because I was thinking, you know, maybe somebody's collecting the firewood for the campfire. Very, very cute. Also adding a little clothesline that gave me such a hard time trying to push it into the <laughs> section that I wanted it to go. But I feel like that looks really cute too. Like they're washing their clothes like in the ocean or by the ocean or whatever. And then just kind of filling up empty spaces with the little grass design. I know it looks kind of too dark for this grass right now, but that's because the design is actually for spring. So that's when I'm going to be saving my island. No, I'm saving it in summer, but it looks fine on my summer grass. It just looks weird in the fall grass. So that's why it looks a little dark. I don't think it's like too bad, but in case you were wondering, which I'm sure you weren't. And then I decided that there was not enough fire in this area. So I pushed back this mushroom platform and added a little campfire on top of these stones. And I feel like these little stones are the perfect custom design for the campfire to go underneath of them. So definitely recommend that. All my design codes are in the description below, by the way, if you're interested. So I added that and I added a little um, cushion. And sadly, in the footage that got lost, I made a joke about it being a mar either a giant marshmallow or a cushion. It was really funny, you just had to be there, so I'm sorry you missed out on the joke, but I, I promise it was really, really funny. Also added a Kuropi snack because not a single build of mine is complete without one. Adding some more decorations here and there, log stakes, a little wood bucket, um, just a straight up rock, you know, I guess there's rocks in the forest, I don't know, I've never been. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It is complete. I really love how it turned out. I'm looking at it right now, it's so cute. I love that it's kind of a more foresty vibe, which is what I wanted for the back part of my island to be more natural natural but I still kept it kid court enough with all the bright colors and fun items and stuff like that and like I said I wasn't really going for anything specific with this campsite build I just wanted to make a campsite and just like decorate it just pretty basic honestly just toss some decorations at it and call it a day so that's going to be the end of the video I really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to shop using my links down below in the description on glassesusa.com's website for all of your eyewear needs thank you again to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video I really appreciated it and like I said earlier all my custom design codes are also down in the description along with my social media and my discord server and just anything you could think of it's down below in the description check it out thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it or Got inspiration or both or either whatever just uh subscribe please and hit the like button please <laughs> thank you thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one